Hi everyone. I'm going to live for about an hour. Um, we haven't been live in a while and so it'll be good to see everybody. Um, oh, somebody hit the thumbs up button. I can't see how many people are in here right now, but I see that there's a thumbs up button. So thank you. Um, got me and Ruby's here. <laughs> Chewing on a bone. Hi there. Hey, Dabney. Hey, Renee. Hey, Jessica. Good to see everybody. How's everybody doing on this Sunday afternoon? Hi, guys. Hi, all of you. Hey, everybody. Good to see you guys. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I was trying to be right on time. I was going to fiddle and make some tea and stuff, and I thought, you know, I'd rather just show up on time. So I was two minutes late, but... <laughs> Happy Sunday Live. Yes, Jacqueline. Yes. Yep. Happy Sunday Live. Oh, thanks, Jan. I look great. Um, <laughs> I did take a shower. Um, my hair's up. My hair takes forever to drive. To dry. <laughs> Not drive. Dry. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it too, Anne from Minnesota. Hello. Oh, it's evening where you are? Oh, yeah. Le Is it Lev or Leave? Leave. I bet it's Leave. Leave. Hello. <laughs> hey, Maury. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Starglow. Hey, Mountaineer. Oh, you love my laugh. <laughs> I know, I've been getting that a lot in all the comments. Um, thank you guys for that. Uh, um, so how's everybody doing? You love the new living space? Yeah. So I wanted to kind of um, focus. I'm trying to decide if I need my... Um, like which is better to have it up here or that's a little higher um i have to be able to see the comments where to put it here oh australia nice you're new from florida nice um how am i you know um i'm i'm doing i'm hanging in there you know hanging in there let's see how am i feeling about having more space now i love it like this this okay and to be honest, maybe double this size, and and if I could stand up, then that's I would feel fine with that. And then a bathhouse. <laughs> I was talking about my bathhouse with like a clawfoot tub, and a wood stove um, that would heat the the clawfoot tub, the water, and then it would also be like a sauna slash steam room. So that's that's in the future, hopefully someday. But yeah, double the space of this van, and if I could stand up, I think that would be plenty of space um so this is like yeah this feels very luxurious um oh donna from ketchikan alaska welcome, welcome to the community and uh the channel um that's awesome oh you caught a live pam here yay pam from southeast arkansas i'm glad when you come in um i can see there's 42 likes I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> Marla, I see you. And thanks for um, saying that too. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're not sure about traveling with a pet. Do you have a small dog? I say go for it. I love having a dog with me. Um, she's amazing in the company. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of reasons. Um, um, thank you. Yeah. Um, Sweden here, you just want to say you really love what I've done in my van. So nice. Thank you you know, my plans. And I don't know exactly sure, but I can tell you I miss my son. So I might head that way, but we'll see. Um, what do I, what do I do when I have to leave the van? Um, uh, like, what do you mean when I have to leave the van? Like leave it, like go, I'm going to drive it out there to see my son. Um, oh, you guys are freezing. I keep buffering. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what to do about that. I could try switching spots. I wasn't sure. It's still buffering. I don't see it on this end. I'm freezing periodically. Okay, um, hmm. Should we give it a moment? I don't know what to do. Um, the It's buffering. Eh. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know how to fix this. Oh, when I have to leave the van for a few hours it's doing better okay when i have to leave the van for a few hours and leave ruby um fortunately um so so 
she has a crate that I can put her in. Um, but most of the time I am able to have her with me and, um, I have some other things lined up for her when I'm done. I don't leave her in the crate for hours at a time. I don't like to do that. Um, so I did try doggy daycare for her and she really likes that. So that's something I've tried. Um, I've never tried that before with a pet, but just so that I knew she was getting taken care of and having fun and exercise and I was able to really be there and focus with my mom. Um, it's getting better now. Okay. So yeah, the crate is, um, is for just like here and there. So she's not chewing. She likes it though. Actually, she likes the crate and sometimes I'll just leave the door open and she kind of goes in and out. Um, oh good. I'm glad it's better. That's good. I'm glad it's better. <laughs> um, Hey, Amanda Ray. Amanda Ray says, hi, everyone. How's your day? Um, oh, no, you lost me. Ah, yeah, I see the numbers are kind of like going up and down. Um, where do I find dog doggy daycare when I'm on the road? Well, I knew I was going to be in this area for a little while. I didn't want to leave my mom. Um, and so I, I like lined it up really quickly. And they said as long as she had all her shots. So I got that lined up. Oh, good. It's okay now. Okay. Um, and it's better in Michigan. Um, yeah, so I was able to line that up really quickly. So um, I'm grateful for that because, yeah, I, it, you know, we made it work. We just made it work. And um, she, she actually has really enjoyed her time at the doggy daycare. So it's made me think, like, if I'm going to be in an area for a while, I might check that out or just periodically. I don't know. I've never ha done that with a pet before, but I do want to travel internationally here and there. And so maybe um, it's something I'd want to look into for like boarding her for a week or so. I'm not sure. Right now, I can't think about leaving her for a week. <laughs> here, let, let's take a look at her. Yeah, she's my sweetie. Hi, Anna from San Antonio. This thing is like, um, it's a little salty, I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, no, I haven't been door dashing. I mean, I have, um, I have door dashed in the van. Um, not a ton, but I have done that. Um, but I have been mostly focusing on the build and family stuff. Um, I thank you. You love the way I, Oh no, it's breaking up again. It's a yak treat. It is a yak treat. That's what it's called. Yeah, yak treat. And I don't know what is it. What is that? What is it? What is yak treat? Um, <laughs> hi, just me from Georgia. <laughs> hi, Michelle. Hi, hi, everybody that's coming in. Um, the comments go really, really fast. Yeah, Ruby is growing fast. Um, so I'm guessing she actually has a vet appointment tomorrow. So that'll be kind of fun. And um, I had this pet package through. Um, uh, uh, through Banfield Pet, and so it's like a year, and they, it includes a test to see what kind of dog, like what different kind of dogs she has, so um, I asked about doing that, so that'll be exciting, and I might, like, vlog that, I'm not sure yet, but, um, so I think that she'll be about 50 to 55 pounds is what I'm kind of hoping, um, but, I'm not sure. Yeah, R and I are in our rides. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, a comment just popped in. It said, so happy. Kathy, um, if you're live right now, thank you. That was a really sweet comment. Um, your sister has a puppy that just looks like, looks like Ruby and the same age. I didn't get her in Washington State. She's from um, um, Bakerfield, California. So I was just, you know, driving through and um they had a picture of the litter of puppies in the, um and she was young five and a half weeks so the, um the they had the mom and the dad on with them as their their dogs but um the mom weaned them really early and they weren't able to feed there were eight of them and i guess the puppies were eating a lot of food and they just you know needed to get rid of them quickly. So yeah, I've had her for, since she was five and a half weeks. Um, yeah, she's a Cali girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, word nerd. I see Scotland. Nice. Um, thanks for joining. Um, ooh, South America. Hola. From temporarily from South
crew. Yes, I love it. International crew in the house. Um, oh, thank you, Sharon. R the Rubes is a gorgeous baby girl. She is. Oh, Amanda Ray, thank you. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, junior Boy would love to play with Ruby. Okay. <laughs> um, who's Junior Boy? Is that your, your dog? That'd be fun. Eventually, like, um, I'm exploring the idea of, like, um, doing meetups, like, down the road. But, um, yeah, that'd be fun to have, like, dog, people bring their dogs. Uh, yeah, Meowsers will be really happy. I see that. Um, yeah. Um, oh, Kathy Brooks. Thank you so much, Kathy. Um, and it's your first super chat on a live stream. And look at the emoji. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I'd, like, get part way up and it'd be like, <laughs> that's so cool though yippee and kathy i recognize your name i feel like you've been a channel member for quite a while right like part of the community um i i recognize your name thank you so much and thanks for um being a part of this community since the very beginning like i think i had i don't know i remember you from like less than 500 subscribers so that's cool um Tracy Higgins. Hi, Rowan from Fife in Scotland. Love watching the videos. Been following for a few months and happy to see you in a good place. Yeah, thank you. Oh, four kittens. Kittens are fun. Um, somebody said Meowsers will be happy. Meowsers will be, <laughs> yeah, Kathy. Meowsers will be um, um, really happy. Happy to see me and Ruby too. Um, I Someday, I don't, I'm not sure about having Meowsers and Ruby in, in the van. I haven't really thought that through. That would be kind of cool though. I'll have to see like how they do, but um, um, yeah, um, we'll see someday for sure. Oh, Amanda Ray, thank you so much. Um, thank you for the super chat. And he is your dog that rides around with me in your, bi in your big rig. Oh, that's cool. Um, what kind of dog is he? Is he little? Is he big? So is that like a semi truck and your dog ride around with you? That's so cool. <laughs> I've, I've thought about doing that someday. Is, are you a truck driver? Um, oh, wisdom of mine. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, wisdom. Of I don't know if we're on or not. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm back. I think, I think, ah, <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Am I back? Will you guys let me know? I'm going to go back. Um, hey, Claire on the road. Um, you've been here since 10 K Diane J cat lady. Awesome. Um, and your dog sitting. Oh shit. She Shelly shell. Dogs and cats are not just pets. They're family. Absolutely. Absolutely. I froze up for a little bit, but I'm back. I believe. Um, and thank you. That's your first super chat on a live stream. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, and I agree. They are family. Ruby's definitely part of the family. Um, oh, a frozen. Yeah, you love the new van decor. Um, you just got in your small van and found it intimidating. Do I have any pointers? Well, just take it slow. Maybe start at a campground. Campgrounds are great. Um, I hope that this is not like, I hope we're still going. I'm gonna scroll down because you can you guys give me like um you are here okay good I'm back excellent yeah um yeah sorry about the reception guys I was um I guess I'll just stick it out we can stick it out um but I'll try for the next one to make sure I'm in a better spot I thought this was but um yeah um I would try it maybe in a campground somewhere where you're comfortable and you feel safe and um and that way you can just you know, focus on getting comfortable in the van without worrying about like being stealthy and where you're going to park, things like that. Like, you know, you can get to that, but just, just the living day to day in your vehicle for like, and, and ease into it. Um, let's see. I think I missed this. Um, Amanda Ray. Oh, thank you so much. Another one. Um, thank you so much for your super chat and you said yes you're a truck driver and you've been doing it for 16 years that's awesome um so you must like it i'm assuming or um that's so cool and you have your dog with you i've thought about doing that sometimes that sounds really really cool 
people around you have like one of those things that you sleep in behind you. Um, Hello? Are you guys here? <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea, but I need your, um, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah. So I think, um, I have an idea though, guys. Um, I'm going to drive, but yeah, it is stressful. Um, thanks for understanding that. And I don't want to keep doing that to you guys either. But do you guys want to drive with me for a little bit? And I'm going to try and going in a different spot. Like I might drive around the other side of the gas station. Um, will you hang on while I do that? And you can come for a little drive with me. Does that sound good? Sure. Okay. But hang on because um, I'm not sure. You might be like staring at the ceiling for a little bit. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, I took my water cooler down. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I did that and I just stick it on this here. You ready for this? Well, Rubes, she just rides back here. But yeah, you can see I really move. Um, so there's the van. But I'm going to climb up here. Uh, the thing's stuck in my hair. Um, we're just going to try scooting. Okay. All right, <laughs> here we go. Buckle up, guys. You're not hearing me too well. Well, we're making it. We're making do. Thanks for thanks for bearing with me. We're gonna drive for a little bit. We're going for a drive. Buckle up. You love a road trip. Yeah, woohoo! Um, if I was actually on a road trip, I'm, I would show you guys where I'm going. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna look at the phone. So, so chat amongst yourselves, guys. And I think I'm just gonna drive around the building. Um, we, got, we could do this sometime on a on a like a road trip too. That'd be fun. I just realized my um, it's a first. I know. Let's go. Um, I just don't want it to. I can't see the reception, so. Let's see. So we're going to go, I said just around the building. <laughs> Is everybody buckled up? Here, here we go. Are we there yet, right? <laughs> I need the bathroom. <laughs> Does anybody want coffee? We could go in the drive-thru. <laughs> ah. I stuck at the light. I'm going down the road just a little bit because for some reason I feel like <laughs> you want the fish chowder, <laughs> right? I'm hungry. <laughs> road trips are fun. Yeah, you can hang your head out the window. Just be careful as long as you're buckled up. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going right on red, guys. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to just go up the road a little bit and we'll try again. I can't go too far because I realize I need to get gas. Um, that was kind of why I parked at a gas station because I was like, well, afterwards, but. All right, let's find a spot here. <laughs> oh, you're going to get the coffee? Somebody said I saw that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what Ruby's doing. What's she, be doing? What's she doing back there? You guys can let me know. Oh, I could have tried that spot. Oops. All right. I think there's some places up here we'll try. Um, we'll try up here. Hopefully this is a little bit better. All right. Did it freeze at all? Ruby's chill. Okay. Did any? Did it freeze while I was driving? You hear me? Okay. Good. Nope. Okay. So hopefully it's the Wi-Fi is better. And here we go. 
Oh yeah, she's chilling. She's chilling, relaxing. Okay, and then here we're back. Okay, let me put my water cooler back up because that's where it was. <laughs> if I come back, it works better. Well, hopefully I just moved my spot. Um, a bungee cord, yeah. I wanna, okay, I'll show you guys. I wanna, um, I'm thinking if I put like some wooden, kind of how I have these, which I still need to secure. Um, um, if I do like a wooden thing here on the side and do the L brackets and then bungee cord it and do one of those on each side and then, so kind of like these, but maybe even like a whole thing like this and then wrap the bungee cord around. I think, I think that should work, right? Something, yeah, or Vel Velcro, like underneath. That's a good idea too. Um, yeah. Ooh, that water looks good though. So I'm actually gonna get some of that. Um, how, was the, how was the ride? How was my driving, guys? You think it'll work? I think so too. I mean, um, oh, thanks, Akeem. You like my rig? You did a great job. I did a great job on my build. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I made something last night that was fun. It'll be in a vlog. Um, yeah. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. Everything stays, those shelves. I'll add those links. So in the video, I added some links um, to, to some things like this. People were asking, um, so the sink, and I'll add the links for the floating shelves too. Oh, you want nachos? <laughs> I love nachos. Yeah, we can get nachos. Why don't we make nachos, actually? <laughs> we can make nachos. Oh, I'm getting a Patreon comment. Um, Someone's asking about Patreon. I'm live on here though, yeah. Um, oh, oh, I did it again. Uh, that's right, darn it. Okay, I have to like set a setting on my phone. So, oh, street tacos? What kind of tacos do you guys like? Um, chicken, beef, fish, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. All right, so is the reception still acting up? Lily, you said you're bummed about the reception. Fish tacos, absolutely. Chicken tacos, dog, dog tacos. <laughs> strawberry milkshake, yes. Imagine strawberry tacos, like dessert tacos. Um, I love tacos. I remember my, um, uh-oh, Jessica, you said it's still freezing. Uh-oh, and someone said it's great now, okay. Um, yeah, I like fish tacos, and they're usually with cabbage and like a mayo-based sauce, I think. Oh, veggie, veggie. We'll definitely do some veggie tacos. I was a vegetarian for, oh gosh, 13 years? I think um, when I was 13, I stopped eating meat till I was 26. <clears throat> yeah, so 13. So it's not, so it's freezing in some places, but not in others. Oh, where's my dog? <laughs> <laughs> She's here. My dog is relaxing. She's getting big, right? Ruby. <laughs> Ruby Q. <cute. laughs> yeah. And then also, um, I've been calling her like Scooby Doo, like Ruby Doo. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's in and out. It seems great. Oh, but then when I move it around, dog farts, right? I know. <laughs> Fortunately, she she had, doesn't had too many of those at this point, but maybe when she gets older. So it seems great when I'm and the camera is settled, but not moving the camera seems to make the reception. Okay, but moving the camera. Okay, I'll try to remember that. You think of chocolate milk, right? Her color, I know. Oh, she's, I love... I love her. Dessert tacos, yeah. How would we do dessert tacos? Oh, shrimp tacos are good. I, I think I have um, 
Am I driving the van back to Washington? Yes, that's my plan. I'm having a mechanic take a look at it. Um, so, and get an oil change in kind of prep for that. Um, what year is my van? It's a 2010. So I love Scooby-Doo too. <laughs> um, so hopefully there's no major issues. I'm uh, keeping my fingers crossed that there are no major issues. This was from a school district. So I'm, I'm hoping that um, it's been kind of like well-maintained. Um, I'm assuming it is by the, by the school district or the school that it was used by. But it was kind of low on oil and it hasn't, it has a sticker. So it, it's like not up to the mileage for the oil change. So that made me a little concerned. So we'll see. That's my plan to drive out to Washington in this van. I just don't know exactly when. Um, oh, Seattle, Tony Adams. Hi, Tony from Seattle. That's awesome. Say hello to Washington and Seattle for me. What's the weather like in Seattle right now? Yeah, shrimp tacos, right? Shrimp tacos are good. I have a, I have a slight allergy to shellfish, so whenever I have shrimp, I'm, I'm like risking, but sometimes I do it because I love shrimp. I love shrimp. Um, I can't read the comments now without my glasses on, but... Oh, I see Indiana here. I think that's what that said. Hey, Charlie. Salt Indiana here. Yeah. Oh, and the reception's good? Okay. Someone's saying bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Um, what color am I going to do my hair next? I'm not sure. So I washed it. I have this ruby red at the ends that I added. Um, so I did some of that. You guys like it? <laughs> ruby red. It takes a long time to dry. Um, and so I'll probably use that. I just have a little bit and I add it. Um, so until the bottle, until the bottle is used up, I'll just keep adding that. I don't know. I'm missing the comments though. What state am I in? I'm in New England. Um, bye Connie. Um, hi ZZ. It says hi from New Jersey. Nice. Ooh la la, you like the hair? <laughs> Ooh la la. Hi from Georgia, you're a new subscriber? Nice. And you love that I'm so interactive? I try, I try to interact with everybody. Um, but I, I know I can't keep up with the comments. And then sometimes I'll be like on a roll and, and it's been freezing. So that's a little bit frustrating too. Um, thank you, Kathleen. Um, Looks like rose gold. Yeah, I did do rose gold before. I thought that was kind of nice. And I did, um, there's actually a video on my channel. I did a rose gold for brown. So it's all, um, you love the ruby red? Yeah, so it's all semi-permanent hair. It'll it'll wash out at some point, but um, it's kind of fun. I just like switching it up. I've been having this like urge to, um, back to the tacos. I like it, aim B. <laughs> I've been having the urge to like, do something drastic with my hair like I was thinking um <laughs> what do you guys think if I got a mullet <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it but like I was thinking like longer in the front and like short and then like I was like maybe that's part of the grieving process I don't know um I want to go back to these dessert tacos here Strawberry and blueberry tacos with a raspberry sauce and dark chocolate sauce sprinkled with chopped up nuts. Now you're talking. Absolutely. But what would we use for the tortilla? Like a corn, like would it be a hard taco or a soft taco? And then what would the tortilla, like what would the shell be made out of? Would it be corn? I don't eat flour, like the flour wouldn't work for me. But we could do like a rice tortilla maybe? Um, so no, no, don't cut it. No mullet. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus right and then I was like what if it was still long in the back but like short on the sides um <laughs> you talk people out of that the mullet <laughs> yeah and then I was like maybe bangs like there's like the really really short ones but I, I thought like I'd probably like it for like a week and then get sick of them I don't know gator tail tacos I bet those would be amazing with like an aioli Mm, yeah, I'll scare Ruby, right? <laughs> a shag cut. I did do the the wolf cut. It was called, I think it was like, I don't know, maybe a year, a year and a half ago now. I'm not sure. I'm like losing track of time, but oh, um, 
You're bummed, Lynn. You're trying to send fifty dollars, but Apple Pay's not letting you add. You'll have to mail it. Oh, thank you. Like, um, yeah, I appreciate that. It's just just hanging out and chatting with you guys. And Lynn, thank you just for being a part of the chat. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate um, you trying. Yeah, I'll achy breaky. <laughs> <laughs> the achy break yeah wait who is that that's the um i'm drawing a blank on the name i just said it though wonton wrappers those would be good i think they're um flowers so pambolina you're a hairdresser let's talk you said i'll hate short bangs but straight or side bangs yeah um maybe like curtain bangs what are side bangs billy ray cyrus yes <laughs> if i got a mullet like billy ray cyrus <laughs> yeah Business in the front, party in the back all day, right? <laughs> I think, I don't know if there's anything business about me though. Yeah, so maybe that wouldn't work. I mean, that's probably why I just have my plane because I'm just, just a party. You cut your own hair in the wolf cut. Yeah, from the same length. Um, that's what I, I liked the wolf cut that I did. Um, hey, Olive Tom, nice to see you. Um, you believe it's Amazon? Okay, I missed the first comment to that. Um, parted on the side. I used to always do a side part. I always did a side part. Maybe I'll go back to that. I did a side part, actually. Um, I have a weird bump here. So, but yeah, maybe I'll play around with the part. That would be fun. Um, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. You could send a postcard from whatever state you live in and then make a great inside roof covering. That would be really cool. And then maybe, like, as I visit the states, I could, like put a strawberry sticker on them or something like that um side bangs work <laughs> yeah and okay yeah i don't think i i've enjoyed growing out my hair a wolf cut is like um it's a lot of layers and so i put a ponytail on my head and chopped that so the the way it and i did three of them i looked up uh wolf cut with with bangs um yeah oh of, yeah it's a. Uh, it's like layers. It's kind of like an 80s layered hairstyle. I think there's a couple um, shorts I have where I'm like walking. Um, I used to do this walk up up this like kind of big hill. Alma Martinez, thank you for the super chat. Um, greetings from California. Well, greetings from New England to you and thank you. Oh, thank you, Debbie. It says I'm beautiful just as I am. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I think I'll do it. Um, I don't know. I'm 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 excited to do something. I'm just not sure what. And I I like I like having long hair. So um, yeah, the the bangs they can take a while to grow out. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the dessert taco. Did we decide what kind of oh wonton wrappers? Yeah, that would be good. Um, those sound good. You're giving me ideas. So when I was, um, I remember the preschool I went, people used to be able to pick out um, what they wanted on their birthday or like you could bring in the food or something like that. Like you could bring in food for people on, on your birthday. And I remember there was a kid in my class and he brought in tacos. And so I had them, I think I must've been like four and I loved them. And, um, so after that, every year on my birthday, I wanted to have tacos. Like it's actually my favorite food, tacos. And I, there's a lot of other foods that I love, but I've I've never given up my love for tacos. So yeah, I like because tacos, you can do so much with them. <laughs> I feel like I'm like doing an advertisement for tacos, but you can do like beef tacos, shrimp tacos, fish tacos, chicken tacos. Um, yeah, soft shell crispy tacos there's so much you can do with them they're really good yeah street tacos i think i said that already yeah tacos are good jicama tortilla Ooh, that sounds good i've never um ooh, taco pizza yum yeah they're very versatile <laughs> yeah oh my gosh maggie thank you so much thank you Thank you for the super chat. Oh, I appreciate that. And it's pink. It's simple. There's a heart and it's pink. I absolutely love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, gator tacos. Yeah, take, those would be good. 
What about like a spaghetti taco? I've n I just thought of that. Oh, thanks Douglas, you too. Bye. Tacos with pickled onions, yes. Definitely, tacos with pickled uh, uh Oh, Maggie said for the wolf cut. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> what if I don't get it though? Oh, <laughs> thanks Victoria, I made amazing tacos in the car. It was, you're right, I made a, there was a short of the tacos that I made. Michelle Johnson, thank you so much. You love the van setup, it looks so cozy. Oh, and it's your first super on a live stream. Thank you. Corn tacos with breaded chicken, barbecue sauce, purple cabbage, ooh, and green onions, yum, yum. That sounds amazing. Um, the picture and sound are great in Maine. Awesome. Good to know. Spaghetti tacos. So have you had them before, A. Rose Bennett? Because that just sounds so good. So it'd be like a corn, maybe a hard corn and then put spaghetti in it with like lots of cheese. I don't know. That just so. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye, P. Thanks for joining. Um, you stay safe as well. Ruby's here. Ruby's uh She's relaxing. She's maxing and relaxing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it's the orientation. You didn't like that I moved. Ruby! <laughs> Roopster. Ruby! Ruby Q! She's tired. She's, um... I'm letting you do your thing. <laughs> Let's see. Cauliflower tacos, yum. Like those um, deep fried, deep fried tacos. Waffle shell, yes, or crepes with the dessert taco. Yes, yes, I'm all for that. I think you can do gluten-free crepes too. Um, yeah. Hey, Kevin says, hey, glad to see you live. Good to see you too. <laughs> you love cabbage lately? It's a little sudden, Madeline. Yeah, I like I like cabbage. Um, I didn't always like cabbage, but it's like recently grown on me. And raw cabbage, those coleslaw mixes, or you can do stir fry with it. Um, I've always loved corned beef and cabbage. Um, Kevin McNally, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. And the, um, is that a fox or a cat? Looks a little bit like Meowsers. I'm making you, I know, who's hungry? Who's having tacos for dinner? <laughs> right, Ruby's like, go away. <laughs> Pretty much. Maybe not go away, but like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I think she's a Capricorn. December 31st, yeah. Chewing can tire them out as much as a hike, yeah. Oh, a lick mat. Um, I don't have a lick mat. You think it's a fox? Cool, I like foxes. Purple cabbage. Hey, Ms. J. <laughs> good to see you. Um, purple cabbage is good in stir fry, yes. And like um, kimchi is good, like Napa cabbage. I really like that. I think um, usually kimchi is made with Napa cabbage. I like Napa cabbage as well. Coleslaw, ooh, and tuna salad, yes. I made some tuna salad recently. Uh, I just like onion powder, garlic powder, um, tuna, mayo, salt, pepper, and then sometimes I'll put like a dill pickle relish in it. That's pretty tasty too. Um, Char fam five, um, bye, have a good one as well. Thanks for joining the live. Um, you just ate tofu, broccoli, and mashed potatoes, yum. Yeah, I am getting a little hungry. I have not tried stuffed cabbage. That sounds good. I've heard of it, and usually it's like, um, like a beef, right? Like in the filling and you, you steam it in the oven. Um, I, I don't want to miss this. Um, oh, poutine. What's poutine? What's poutine? That rings a bell. It's like a soup, right? Is it hot cheese soup or, um, lentil soup? I love lentil stew. You're making cappy too. A uh, cappy. What is that? You're making a cappy. What is, I don't know what that is, but lentil stew, I love lentil stew. And you're having tacos, Anne? I love it. 
Hey, Suzanne. Hi, Nick Ketch. Hi, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, you like my hoodie? And Janice Rubin, thank you so much. And a fox that says, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, thanks. I like the hood on this. Um, it's warm and cozy. Capricorns, yeah. I think, yeah, Ruby's a Capricorn. Um, oh, maybe that's what you're saying, and a Cappy, the, the lentil, and you're a Cappy. Yeah, so Sophie, nice, yeah. Um, I'm a Taurus, so that's, those are two Earth signs, so supposedly we get we get along well. You'll send Ruby a lick mat, nice, yeah. You chose the wrong sticker? Let's see. Oh, I like it, it's a laughing fox. Which one were you gonna choose? Maybe you can tell me about it. Um, but that one's nice, it's cute. <laughs> What's my next adventure? My next adventure is um, getting out to see my son, going to Washington. Um, yeah, we'll see. And um, it might be just like super quick, so I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, we'll. I'll just. I'll just do. You know. I'm. Not, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Cross country. Yeah, it will be epic. Um, and. We'll just see how it all unfolds. <laughs> That's all I'll say about it for now. So my son's doing well. Sophie, thanks for asking. Yeah, he's doing really well, but I miss him. I was planning to be in the Northwest in March. Um, and I, so I did get to see him a little bit, but I quickly came out here. Um, I wanted to, I didn't want to drive. I just wanted to fly and be with my mom. So I did that and that's, how I ended up with this fan. Um, French fries, that's what it is. French fries with gravy, yes, poutine, yes, poutine, poutine, right? I'm saying it right, poutine, Putin, 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 Putin. <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. You just pulled three ticks off your dog in the Pacific Northwest? Ooh, okay, um, yeah, so the pet thing includes like a flea and tick thing, um, so I'm hoping that she doesn't, um, she doesn't have ticks. Um, you didn't know I had kids. I, um, yeah, I have a, a son and yeah. Oh, bell pepper. Nice. Silent viewer. Love the channel and Ruby. Well, thank you. Thanks for um, saying hi. Hey, Flocka. Do I still have the Honda? Um, yes, I do. Yep. I do have the Honda. So that'll be kind of like my, for like longer road trips and things like that. Um, this van is more for um, staying in one place for a while or if I can like boondock somewhere or, um, you know, I'm excited to explore the Washington a little bit and be in this, but I think for like longer trips and door dashing, I have the Honda, so. It was, it was getting a little tight with Ruby and the Honda, and now she's even bigger because it's been, what, it'll be like two months. Um, so, oh, you guys look at her stretching. Oh, she might have met, she might be done. But look at her face, her smile. I think she's happy. Are you smiling, Ruby? <laughs> Are you smiling? <laughs> Yeah, I see your smile. <laughs> Aw. I like. Let's see. How big will Ruby get? I think she'll be like 50, 50 or 55 pounds. Um, I drove through Quartzsite and I was going to stay there or like around there and I drove into the desert and, um, and, um, and, uh, I got a little nervous. So I drove down, like, I found a parking area, but it was, like, dark already, and I couldn't really see where I was. And to stay, it was a new climate and a new area, and to pull up at night, I didn't feel comfortable, so I kind of just kept it pushing. Um, I That was before I had Ruby, too, so I might feel a little differently now with the dog, but, um, and I'd like to go back to Quartzsite. I'd like to check it out, um, definitely. But I think that I would probably want to like connect with some people before and and like have a group that I was staying with. Yeah, Cindy Lou. Yeah, I gotta have a group. Yeah, that's that's how I'm hoping to do it. Um, maybe next winter. Um, yeah, 
So I'm hesitant to make any really solid plans at this point, just because this last period of my time, like since early March has just been such a whirlwind and I don't quite feel settled enough to like make plans, but I'm beginning to kind of set some goals and formulate things. Um, yeah, the RTR, um, just to give me things to look forward to. So that's on there. I don't know if I'll end up in the Southwest next winter. It seems kind of far off at this point. And I do want to, um, I do want to do some international travel, but I also would like to, you know, kind of do what I did this year and go around the U.S. and, um, yeah. So, oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you. Yeah, definitely a little time to breathe and ground. I'm, what I'm really looking um, forward to is going to some of the woods in Washington and Oregon, the back to the Northwest and just spending some time in the woods and building some fires. And that's an area where I feel like um, it ha is very healing for my, my heart and my soul. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course I'll vlog it and share it with you guys too, because I'm familiar with that area and I know some good spots. So yeah, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Yeah. Um, Oh, do I have a nickname? I just call her Rubes. <laughs> so I guess that's a nickname. Yeah, Ruby the Rubester. <laughs> Ruby Q. That's her actual name. That's not a nickname, but um, Ruby Q Berry. Yeah. Um, yeah, losing a parent. Yep. It's hard. Um, Ruby looks very much like a liver and white patches. Yeah, I think that's the healer, I think. Um, but she does have that, but I'm going to find out. Um, oh yeah. Whidbey Island is beautiful. Um, yeah, this, this could be the healer. No, I don't want to disturb her sleep, but, but I'm doing it. She says, <laughs> and this, I think that's the healer maybe. I don't know, but, um, I'm doing that, the, the DNA test thing that's included with my, I bought a year of vet care. Um, so part of it, I, I, I don't think I would have done it, but it's free. So I'm like, well, I might as well. Um, it'll be, I'm curious to see what kind of dog she is. Um, do I think the West coast will be home based? Uh, probably, but I'm not certain about that. Like when I buy land. Um, yeah. Um, probably. I'm not sure yet though. And I might want a couple different places. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I love, I love the West coast. I love like the mountains and I also love the ocean, but I also love the mountains. I don't know, but I love being around water, but sometimes that could be like lakes or rivers or streams too. So, um, DNA tests on dogs are really fun. You loved learning what your rescue was. Oh, okay. Well, you guys, I'm going tomorrow. And so what do you think? How do I do a poll? Okay. So I'll post a poll tomorrow, like at the vet. I don't know if I'll find out tomorrow. Um, I'm guessing it'll probably take a little while, but yeah. Um, oh, hi, Cynthia and Illinois South 65 says, hi, I'm new. Well, welcome. Welcome to the, um, channel. Where did I get the one year per pet care? Um, it's through um, Banfield Pet. They're in like Pet Smarts and and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, Cindy Lou. Yeah, I've gotten that. Or like friend, people feel like, or that I remind them of someone. It says Cindy says I want to meet with you. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I feel like a sister. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping I'm working eventually. Um to the point where I would like to do like meetups at a campground eventually. Um, so yeah. And I feel pretty comfortable with you guys too. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I, 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 I do. You guys are like friends and family to me. Um, your Loki has close to 75 found relatives cousins and possible siblings so did they tell you like other um will will i find out ruby's cousins and stuff 
Um, you like the meetup? You have your van and doing a no-build. Um, Illinois? Nice. You hit the like. Thanks, Madeline. <laughs> How am I coming along with my crochet projects? I'm a crocheter, too. I did a variety, but currently been into... Into... Amigurami? I don't know what that is. A Amigurami? I have no idea what that is. That's cool. I'd like to know more about that. Olive Tom. Amigurami. But I do have some hats. Some people have asked about hats. And um, so I do have one that I'm about to mail out tomorrow. Um, and I've emailed, I think, a couple. But um, I probably won't do any more of that right now because I'm just... Um, I don't want to overwhelm myself. Yeah. If I register my info. Okay. So I like people, I think can do that too, right? Like you can like, I've never done that, but I think people can do that too, where they find like people they might be related to. Um, oh, you, you haven't started yet. You got to purge everything. Marjorie Allard. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh yeah. High five. Let's do it. Ready? <laughs> and it's your first super on a live stream. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Marjorie. I appreciate that. I like this high five. I don't want to like, I don't want to scroll past it. Um, your first time chatting in the live, Diana? That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. You have to leave. Mazibu, you have to leave. Okay. I hope you enjoy your afternoon and evening as well. Yeah. Um, I have about five more minutes and then I'm going to hop off the live. Um, but I will post about, um, what you guys think. I mean, what they told me and what, um, was that she was a lab and a healer, but her dad didn't look like a lab to me and the mom, maybe a healer. I'm not sure. So uh, there might be other things and yeah. We'll, we'll take a poll or like fill in the blank maybe. Um, you have to go, Michelle, too. You enjoyed the live. You're looking forward to the next one. Awesome. We'll see you next time, okay? And stay safe as well. You're first too, Sophie. Welcome. <laughs> and Gojo says, hi, Tracy. I love when you guys um, say hi to each other. Yeah. <clears throat> it's crocheting stuff, toys and plushies. <gasps> That's cool. That's what um, am Amy... But Origami? I forget the name of it. I remember it was A-M-I. Almost like origami, but it was Amy something. That's cool. Toys and plushies. Okay. Do you ever do strawberries? Once I leave the East Coast, will I still be able to get mail? Probably not, but I will say that I'm planning to come back. Um, I might just fly back for a little bit. I might like do some back and forth. So I'm not going to I'll probably close my P.O. box um, maybe towards the end of May. And I'll try to give you guys, like, a heads up. But, um, yeah, I won't keep my P.O. box open forever. Um, and um, I paid for three months. So, but, it, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But <clears throat> I will, I do plan in a couple weeks to be hitting the road for a while. So if there are things... Um, you know, to mail, yeah, it might be good to get those going because, yeah. Um, oh, it's freezing again. Oh, that'd be cool. Totally. I'll come forward my mail. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll keep my PO box open. Oh, if I can forward it, I'll just keep it open the whole three months and then have it forwarded to like maybe my son's house. I don't know. Or maybe another P.O. box. I have to figure it out. <laughs> I'm not used to having a P.O. box. So it feels kind of like um, I'm just figuring. Oh, it's your first live too, but you follow the channel? Well, welcome. Welcome to the live. You're going to go enjoy the Earth Day celebration. Nice. Miss Jaos. you're always doing some fun stuff. I love it. You're always like going to the movies or like, I don't know. I just <laughs> enjoy, have fun with the Earth Day celebration. Happy Earth Day. I think it's tomorrow, but um, yeah, I hope you have a great Sunday too. And thanks for coming and saying hi on the live. Um, you made a dress for your cat? You made a dress f from your cat or for your cat? For your cat? That's cute. Like a tutu? Um, can I show you a hat? Um, the hats are under the bed and I'd have to get out in the back, but, um, 
Yeah, I'd love to show you one. Um, I'd love to show you a hat sometime. They're just beanies. And I have a couple in a video. Um, trying to think if I have any handy. Not really. Yeah, they're in a bag. They're like right in the middle of the bed, I believe. In a paper bag right now. And I have a few of them. Um, oh, I take it back. They're right here. Nope, oh, I take it back. This, um, this is the one I'll be mailing. Ooh, okay. This is the one I'll be mailing tomorrow. Um, is, it's blue. It's, um, it's just like a beanie. It looks kind of gray, but it's blue because my sweatshirt's gray. So that's, and then it's got a little strawberry thing on it. Um, so I crochet these um, and I sell them for $40. Um, and they're all wool. I use all wool yarn, but I don't, it takes me, here's the one that I made from the yarn that I dyed, the black walnut. <clears throat> There's a video about the black walnut dye. This one's a little bit different of a shape. Um, and you see how it's a little blotchy because of the black walnut dye, but I kind of like it. So yeah, so this, I it was a cream color yarn, but I used the black walnuts. Um, and this is the yarn from the video. So there's that. Um, and then there's a green one I've started <clears throat> working on. Um, a green one and then I have some skeins of yarn so yeah but um, it's a little bit of a busy time right now so um, I'm gonna mail that blue one tomorrow and there's a couple people I've been corresponding with I think two or three other people about hats um, but it, I can easily get like overwhelmed by the hat orders because it takes about three to four hours to make one so I'm going to hold off on the, any more hat orders at this point, unless somebody wants to email me about that black walnut one, I guess, because it's all ready to go. But I'll, re <laughs> I'll receive 10,000 amigurumi strawberries now. I wouldn't mind. That's like crocheted strawberries. Like, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why 10,000? Is that a significant number for um, Amy, Amy Gurumi? Guru, um, Rootless Wanderer, you enjoyed your first live. Thank you. And um, hope to take care. Hope to catch the next one. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining. And I'm looking at the time. It's six, been 60 minutes. So um, I could make them more slouchy. Yeah, when I start... Um, the slate blue hat you like that one strawberry tacos yeah <laughs> um oh a full dress for your cat Ooh, that's cute like like not just a tutu like a full dress that's that's cute that's very cute um i sell them people email me and then i and then I, we do like a ma i mail them um so yeah um, I would like at some point to maybe like somehow add them to a store or something. Um, I don't have a website for them right now. Yeah. You like the hand dyed one, Olive Tom? Yeah. Well, I'm happy to mail it. Um, I just don't have time to like crochet anymore. And there's, there's, uh, yeah. Cause I already have like two that I wouldn't want to work on if, the, um, I'm in correspondence with, so um, where are you getting a hat? You want one or two? <laughs> yeah. So you can email me about the hats. Um, and that's probably the best way to do it. But, um, but there might, and we, I don't mind like having a conversation about them, but I'm, I'm probably not going to have time until maybe this summer, um, to crochet and get them to you. So I, I'll probably maybe do a big push for it in the fall because it's good hat weather. But yeah, I do hats. I crochet hats. I, I have, I've been crocheting since I was 18. So I love crocheting um, and I, I make hats. And I used to sell them at the Saturday market in Eugene back in the 90s. <laughs> and that was fun. 
and I got really elaborate ones with like a star on the top and like a TAM, like um, I think they were called, but um, yeah, my email's on my channel. Um, yeah, so I don't mind getting an order. I just, it's hard for me because uh, sometimes I feel like if I have something to do, I want to just do it. It's hard to like put off a to-do list too long for me. Um, but it, I think what I should do is I'm trying to find a way to put the hat emails in a separate folder. Um, <laughs> yes, Ruby will be 99% dog and 1% strawberry. Absolutely. I mean, her last name is Barry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rebecca, I wish I could help um, you learn to crochet. That might be fun sometime, like a live. Um, and we do like a crochet live or like maybe in my Patreon, I would do that. Um, and we could do like a, um, like a, a learning how to crochet. Um, and Amy, you're, um, I wish I knew how to pronounce that. I'm going to Google it. And like, you know how you can like, um, use the speaker button and it says it cause I want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right. But it's the Japanese art of knitting or crocheting small stuffed yarn creatures. How did I not know about that? That's so cool yarn creatures uh laura baldwin it was your first live so awesome take care can't wait for the next one yeah i know i would love to teach you guys to co to crochet all right gotta run rowan Ru bigs hugs please continue self-care and compassion thank you yeah yeah um yeah i would okay cool that'd be fun to do like a yeah crochet yeah maybe a zoom meeting um yeah Wishing you all luck and happiness. Yeah, I'm going to get going, you guys, because I don't want to um, be past an hour, too much past. It's 64 minutes now, so um, I want to stick to that time that I that I said. But I could keep going. This is fun, but I, I, I want to be prompt. So absolutely, we'll do a crochet live. I think that would be really fun. And um, um, yeah. Um, Illinois South, you have to have so many viewers before you can do a wish list. Um, oh, is that your channel name? Well, maybe people could go check out your channel and see. Um, look forward to the next live. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hey, Mel, nice to see you. <laughs> I, I, um, yeah, good to catch up. Thanks for for joining the live, everybody. And um, I I want to stick to the every other even though it feels like a long ways away right now, two weeks, um, we'll do our every other week, every other Sunday live. And then I think we'll get back to the every Sunday lives. Um, so it'll be two weeks, but I hope everybody enjoys the next two weeks. I have a video pretty soon I'm going to post in, um, either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll get that posted. And, um, yeah, just thanks. This was fun. And, tacos and strawberries <laughs> hold on let me see if ruby wants to say anything <laughs> ruby she's oh my gosh did she roll her eyes <laughs> oh oh we're we're over here now i feel bad i woke her up she's not even barking at anybody that's me that's me. I was calling you. All right. <laughs> oh, you want us to drive drive you back, Ruby? <laughs> I feel bad. I woke her up for for nothing. Um, no, I'm gonna say goodbye now. Yeah. Um, but that we can go for another ride, and sometime sometime we can do a like like a a, a live drive drive live. That'd be fun too. A drive live. So, all right. Take care, you guys. She heard you, Cindy Lou. <laughs> yeah. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon, okay? All right. Right, let's sleeping dogs live. I should have. <laughs> Bye. Take care, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining the live. Bye. <laughs>